Hey everybody, it's Missy with the Shimmers Education Team. I have another layout for you today. And before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that when you order from the Shimmers Paint Store, if you mention my name when you check out, you can get a free product of your choice. So remember that because free product is awesome. So if you remember a few Shimmer shorts ago, if you watch those videos that I do for Shimmers, I showed you how to use some of your shimmer sprays with coffee filters and I got a really good response from that. It was a lot of fun and I thought I want to recreate that and do it again on a layout. And so this time I'm going to do something a little bit different but uh, it's still going to turn out really really cool. Now I'm going to use a ton of different products. First thing I'm going to use is a Vibes in Sweetheart. Very pretty pink color and I picked all the colors to match the Pink Paisley Moonstruck collection. And I'm going to pull that out here shortly, but that's what my color scheme was inspired by. Now let me get my list of colors out. This color here is one of the original Shimmers paints, and it's called Teal the End of Time. Now it's kind of a dark navy. It is super glittery and sparkly, and what I'm doing here is just kind of doing some loose, messy watercoloring on this coffee filter. And it, it kind of looks messy right now, but just wait until I finish it and you'll see what I wind up doing with it. I promise it turns out really, really pretty. And I'm just playing around with some color here. Uh, the more saturated the coffee filter gets, the color on the paint kind of spreads, kind of like you would on cardstock or watercolor paper. And like I said, I'm pulling the colors from the Moonstruck collection and there's a lot of rich, deep colors Colors that I don't go for a lot, I, I don't use, you know, dark blues a lot and things like that, but this turns out so, so pretty, and that collection is gorgeous if you haven't seen it yet. I just used a colorings called Well Blew Me Down, and now I'm going to do some gold splatters, and that is Vibes in Glorious Day. Looks like a mustard yellow color in the bottle, but when you spray it, it is a very sparkly and shimmery gold. Okay, so I'm going to let that one dry. I'm going to come in with another one. They get pretty flimsy when they get wet, but they're pretty tough. They don't rip super easily, so you, you don't have to be super delicate with it. Um, I wind up stitching through it here in a little bit later on in this layout or this video. So, um, you know, they can get pretty wet. I don't, <laughs> these are actually my, my husband's. I don't drink coffee, so I couldn't tell you anything about coffee. But I know that these coffee filters are awesome. <laughs> and uh, obviously they have to withhold, uh, withhold, that didn't make any sense. They have to hold the coffee. So they're used to getting wet, I guess you could say. Okay, I'm just going to stop talking about coffee because I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. My point is, is they can get wet and they can hold the, the, uh, the water. Anyway, that pink color that I just used was Shimmers and Bubblegum Blast. And I soaked up some of the blue that was on my brush. I'm adding this really pretty plum color. This is another Shimmers, and that is Berrylicious. These are all the original Shimmers paints. They're almost uh, got like a chunky glitter in them. Super sparkly and shimmery when they're dry. Amazing paints. I added some of the Glorious Day, and then I just added in some, what is that one called? Blushing Bride, and that is a very pretty deep pinkish red color, and that's a Vibes. Okay, I'm going to move on to another one and use some of the same colors that I've already used. I wanted more of the teal color in this. I'm also adding in some purple, and that purple color is called Walkin' a Tight Heliotrope, and it is a spritz, which means it does have some shimmery sparkle. This is Pop Art Pink, and it is a light pink, but it's got a lot of gold powder in it, and so it's going to dry this light pink color, but super sparkly gold on top of it. It's gorgeous. And the pop art pink is a vibes. Coming back in with that navy color, this is a vibes and it's called Don't Rain on My Parade. And I'm going to add in some really pretty royal blue color here. This is called Anchors Away. And again, that's the original Shimmers paints. The original Shimmers paints, all the ones I'm using that are in the little pots, those come to you already uh, wet with the liquid in it, and all you have to do is mix it up. So this one kind of is, is more on the dark side. It's going to kind of remind me of, you know, the night sky, or um, I know there's a paper in that collection that's, that's a, 
a navy color, but it's got like constellations and things on it. It's really pretty purpley blue color. And this kind of reminds me of that. So these are all still wet. I just made four of them. What I'm going to do is get these dry. And I love what happened with my uh, paper towel there. Okay, do you recognize this gadget? I decided to go old school on this and not use my Cameo. I'm going to use my Cuddle Bug and this old Sizzix heart die. Check this baby out. It's been on my shelf forever, forever, forever. And clearly, I've already forgotten how to use my Cuddle Bug because I'm trying to put too many layers of those those things that go through it on there and it won't fit. It took me a second to remember <laughs> what I have to do. So I'm just going to trim up. Yep, take off the bottom piece. Too thick. There you go. I'm going to cut a piece of the uh, coffee filter and run it through and I was hoping this would work. I had not even tried this before I started filming and it did. Now this was, I, I dried the coffee filters. I let them dry and then I hit them with a heat gun off camera. I was so excited. I was so excited. I gave myself a thumbs up. I love how those look. I didn't want to attempt this when they were still wet, so made sure they were dry. And so I'm just kind of cutting up everything to make them fit over those hearts. And I'm just going to run it through several times with all of the coffee filters and cut these gorgeous hearts. And look how cool they look. They're so sparkly. I'm going to show you all of them up close here once I have them all cut. And you could also free cut these or freehand cut them. Um, you know, you don't have to do hearts. You could do any shape you want. In my shimmer shorts, I made leaves. Uh, you could trace something on them and then cut them out that way. But clearly they do go through a die cut machine. Okay, so I used all of them. Look at how pretty these turned out. And it's almost like a vellum. Look at how sparkly. Ugh. I love the sparkle. It's so, so pretty. And these match the collection perfectly. And this is what I love about the shimmers is you can customize anything with, uh, you know, whatever collection you're using or whatever color scheme that you want to use. You can customize it and make your embellishments all on your own. Okay, so there's the 6x6 six six paper pad. Now, I did not get any of the 12x12 12 12 papers for this collection. I got the small pad. And then I got the rub-ons, the die cuts, and then those clear blue and pink stickers. And that's all I got. I do use quite a bit of the rub-ons. I'm going to go through everything. And I've decided to use these two black and white pictures of my daughter. She's giving me a cheesy grin and then covering up her face in the second one. I went through everything. And I've sped this up because I've got a lot of things. This layout took me quite a while. And I wanted to get as much in here as possible without my video going too long. So I'm going through the die cuts and I'm trying to create some layers. I really love that light pink card there with the roses on it and I didn't want to cover those up. So I took my X-Acto knife and traced and sliced around the hearts so I could tuck my photo under it just like that because I have some white space uh, or some negative space uh, on both of those pictures and I love how that looks. So I'm going to tuck that gold frame in there. And then I'm going to come in with some of my hearts and play around and decide where I want to use those. And this part took me a long time. I don't show you the whole thing because we would be here for a day and a half. And I know you don't have time for that. But um, it took me a long time to get everything straight and place just where I wanted it. So um, you get the gist of it. Now I just had to use this rub on. It is so pretty. And I just got some white card stock here. And I haven't done anything to it. It's just a fresh sheet. And uh, I'm definitely going to use some of these rub-ons. A lot of them have like a watercolor effect on them. They're so pretty. I added some tissue paper behind my pictures. And now I'm just going to pick a few uh, pattern papers here to layer behind them. I love that, that cloud paper. The pink is so pretty. And this is a different color scheme for me. I, I tend to not go for dark colors a lot, but... Something about this collection just jumped out at me and I had to have some of it. I'm so glad I bought it. I've actually had it a couple weeks and just hadn't had a chance to play with it. Okay, so I did a little bit of pink stitching at the top and the bottom of all of that and stuck it all together so I can kind of move it around. Now, I can't move that rub on because it's already there. So I'm going to place everything around it. Now, I'm coming back to my Shimmers products. This is the Glorious Day. This is the one that looks like mustard yellow, but it dries sparkly golden. 
I'm going to do a little bit of that on the background. I didn't want to go too dark on the background since my photos were dark. And I'm going to use a lot of these hearts with the dark blue and teal in it. So I tried to stay light on my background. I just wanted it to be kind of subtle watercolor look and splatters behind all those layers. So you can see it peeking out. So I've chosen a couple hearts there. And I've gone through the rub-ons and the ephemera and I keep picking pieces and just testing them out here and there. I'm going to come in with these, um, this piece of gold script rub-on and I cut it in half so I could use some of it on the right and some of it on the left. I feel like I'm talking really fast because this video has a lot in it and it's going really fast so hopefully that's not driving you too crazy. I just, I was excited making this layout. It, I was so excited about the hearts and how well they turned out and how nice they look against, uh, or not against, but with this collection. Sometimes you just make a layout and you're just excited about it because it turned out better than you anticipated. This is that layout. More rub-ons. These are the little cluster of stars. I wish I had like 20 sheets of these rub-ons. I'm excited to use new products like this, but then I'm sad that I used them because then I don't have them anymore. And I know that's the root of hoarding, and uh, that's the way it goes. I know you're, you all know what I'm talking about, but uh, I was kind of sad yet happy when I used these things because they look so pretty, but now it's used. So I'm mixing a couple of new products. Well, they're not new, but they're new to this project. And one's an Inklings, one's a Creamies, and I wanted to add a little bit of a light, subtle, pinkish color over to the right. Let's see, I've got Creamies and Cheeky Pink, that is the one on the bottom, and the one above that is Inklings and Mochaccino. And the Inklings and Creamies both come in like a hard cake form, and you have to add water to activate them. They both have shimmery sparkle, as you can see here, as I turn the paper in the light. Inklings are more of a sparkly shimmer finish, and the Creamies have more of a satiny finish, but both of them are gorgeous. Uh, each one of them have a different color. I like to mix and match, and I know I'm going to get a shimmer factor no matter what. I'm going to come back over a little bit with the Cotton Candy Spritz, just to add more of a rich pink color, and just, just a little bit, not too much. So I'm adding a little bit of dark teal thread, just to bring in a little bit of that dark color. And I'm going to glue everything down. Now I have not attached the hearts yet. I wasn't sure how I wanted to attach it, but I went ahead and did this off camera. I did some gold stitching straight down the middle, and then I just used a tiny bit of glue and some foam on the hearts on the left, and then on the right I added a little bit of my tape from my ATG gun and then stitched down the middle of each of them with some gold thread on my sewing machine, and they did not rip, they didn't tear, they stitched beautifully. So the coffee filters are very sturdy, even though they feel very delicate. I will definitely be using them again. I think that they are fabulous. And they, they just look like a really pretty vellum. I guess you could say they're not, you can't really see through them as well as you could vellum, but they feel kind of, kind of like a fabric vellum. I mean, you guys know what coffee filters feel like, but I love the way they look. They just they have a really great texture and they hold color really well. So I'm adding more rub-ons. More rub-ons. This is another little watercolor one. It says, So Lovely. Love it. Now, I didn't use all those hearts. You saw me cut out a ton of them, and um, I still have a bunch of them left over. I'm going to save them for using on another project with this collection because they're just too pretty to get rid of. I created a little title down at the bottom. I'm just going to use Beautiful. It's one of the cut file, not cut files, I'm sorry, die cuts that came with the collection. I added a heart, added some Spiegel Mom Scraps star sequins, and the date, and a couple more rub-ons, and that's the final project. I absolutely love how this turned out. You've got to try the coffee filters and your paints because, oh, so, so pretty. I had a blast making this. Very, very excited with how it turned out. I did add a couple of Tim Holtz stickers and some of the clear stickers from this collection. So let me know what you think about this. Let me know uh, if you have any questions. Make sure you visit the Shimmers Paint Store. And remember to mention my name if you would like a free product. So thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.